Hey guys, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video I wanted to show you the fix for this problem where you will get Tree of Savior client has stopped working after you install Tree of Savior onto Steam and let it do all of the pre-launch patching. The game starts to open and it'll basically just say that it has stopped working and not launch. So the fix that worked for me is that we need to go into the installation directory in the releases folder and delete and recreate a couple files that will be updated when you try to launch the game uh, by the client. So to get to the releases folder, we can do that really easily inside of Steam. So I'm going to right click where it says tree of savior in my game library, local files, and then we can do browse local files, which will pop open wherever we have the game installed. Next, we need to go to where it says release, open that up, scroll down, and you'll have a bunch of XML files in here. Uh, you can sort by type if you want to see all of the XML files at once. And the two that we need to have recreated in the directory are user.xml and user underscore c.xml. In my case, when I had fresh installed the game, this file, user c.xml, uh, didn't exist. So what we can do with these files, if you do see them in the folder, is rename them or delete them. So just to keep them around, I will take user and I'll rename it to user-back. And then user c, I will make user c-back. So now we need to recreate those files with no information inside of them. We can do that by right clicking, going to new, and then text document. Uh, by the way, if you do not see the file extensions here, which isn't enabled by default, then you want to go up to where it says view at the top and enable file name extensions so that you can see those file name extensions and rename them. So now we just need to take a new text document and rename it user.xml. So get the file extension included in that as well. And then user.xml. Uh, yes, you want to change the file extension. And then do that one more time for the user underscore c.xml file. So user underscore c.xml, hit enter. So you should get that pop-up message and then do yes to rename it. So now we have a completely empty user.xml and user underscore c.xml. Pretty much all we need to do now is relaunch the game. So I'm going to go back to Steam and hit play. And you'll need to give it a minute to open. It needs to go through the patcher first. So the game will pop up and you may still get a message which will say that it isn't working. But if you just wait another minute, uh, like you'll see here, you should start to hear music and then the game will show up on the screen. So if the game launches for you, that's awesome. Go ahead and enjoy the game. So if you're still running into issues, one more thing you could try is to right click on Tree of Savior, go to Properties, and then under Local Files, you can hit Verify Integrity of Game Files, which will let Steam basically check if all of your files are correct. So that didn't work for me personally. I had to do the user and user underscore C fix. Um, but yeah, it's worth trying at least. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Dark Skeleton. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future video content.